It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery Hatchet and it's a bottle of the Tongurlo Blonde coming in at 6% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the gold bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh, look at the smoke on the opening. You always get that from a Belgian beer. Belgian beers tend to be slightly more carbonated than say a British brew or an American brew or I won't say a German brew because they're kind of almost on the same wavelength, the same par. The Germans and the Belgians obviously like their carbonated beer. Most of them are bottle conditioned beers so uh, that's where all that kind of carbonation comes from. If you want to know a little bit more about the bottle conditioning process, Google it and have a little read on how it's done. So, golden beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy brew, three fingers of, of white head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells like a typical Belgian blonde. Spicy, touch of lemon, and that wonderful Belgian yeast. Ah, it's beautiful. Spicy, rich, malty, biscuity. Touch of that Belgian yeast. I find a Belgian yeast in the taste is, is slightly drier. It makes the beer slightly drier and obviously more carbonated than than British brews or brews from around the world. Uh, let's let's dive in and try it. Cheers. That's lovely. Very nice beer. Slightly rich. Quite. I'm not going to say quite sweet. I'm going to say there's an element of sweetness in there. It's not overly sweet. I'm not a fan of sweet beers. This is about right for my particular palate. It's not overly sweet, but there's a little bit of sweetness in there. It's less dry. I was talking about the dryness in uh, in Belgian beers. It's less dry than a lot of Belgian beers as well. It's still got that great carbonation though that, that probably sets Belgium apart from most other brewing nations is the fact that their beers are very well carbonated. Biscuity, bready, malty. There's a touch of, very small hint of a plum taste mixed with a hint of honey, a hint of lemon, a bit of spice on the back end, a little bit of bitterness. It's a very nice beer. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. Should be. There you go. Can you see the difference now in the colour of the beer? A lot hazier. You can see some of the yeast there has clung to the side of the glass. Let's move my face out of the way so it can focus in. There you go. And it produces nice carbonation. I'll be very quick with the second fermentation process. I did ask you to Google it, but I'll be very quick. The brewer will Try his best to evenly put a small amount of yeast into each bottle. The rest of the sugar in the wort, or it would be beer at that time actually, it would be, it would be past the wort stage, it would be beer. When it was bottled then, the beer with a little bit of yeast, maybe a touch of sugar, 
it kicks off the second fermentation process, which is the way, and it eats up the rest of the residual sugars and it makes the beer naturally carbonated. So you can see all them, them small bubbles rising through the glass. Uh, uh, that's my, without forced carbonation, it's a natural process that they've been doing for hundreds and hundreds of years. But if you want to know a little bit more about it, then, then please Google it up and have a look. So yeah, you can see that lovely lacing on the glass. I think it's a beautiful beer. Probably not too much English here. Oh, there we are. It's an Abbey beer brewed with the approval of the North Tins of Tongiro. Uh, this beer was fermented in the bottle for a more refined aroma and a broader, richer taste palette. Contains malt or oh, barley malt. There we go. Rating. I like that. 6% ABV. It's a beer I feel I could drink all evening long. Um, probably catch you out at the end of the night but hey ho <laughs> it's life beer does that to you why would you be drinking it otherwise don't tell me for the social occasion I just go out and have one pint to be sociable ah, I don't believe you um, rating I like that enough as Belgian blondes go to give that a bit of a stone the crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Please give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.